little salmon and lobster quiche. So before we start, let's have a look of the ingredients. So for the ingredients, we need 3 salmon fillets, a lobster tail, some broccoli, 2 eggs, 3 cloves of garlic, an onion, some fresh dill, cream, brown sugar, salt and pepper, and olive oil. So spinach here is optional. If you want to add spinach, just chop it into pieces and mix it with the rest of the ingredients. Now we're going to have a closer look of the ingredients. We have our beautiful fresh Atlantic salmon fillets here, deboned and skinned. Start by chopping it roughly before chopping it finely and moving it into our big mixing bowl. Next, take your lobster tail, place it flat on a chopping board and use a sharp cleaver, cut the tail in half. Careful to take out any sharp shots of the lobster shell. Peel out the flesh from both sides of the shell, then chop roughly in large chunks. We chop fairly roughly so we can get nice variations in texture through the quiche. And also, that allows people to taste the lobster. For our broccoli, let's hold the broccoli upside down, use downward slices to remove the smaller branches from the main stem. The scarlet stem chop the broccoli fairly finely to put it aside. Now, to a large mixing bowl with a finely chopped salmon and the broccoli, the chopped onion will give our quiche a nice crunch, fresh dill will lighten up the flavour of the fish, mix with chopped garlic, a cup of cream, Drizzle of olive oil, our chopped lobster, two large eggs to find a mixture, two tablespoons of butter, and a pinch of salt and pepper. Here, I'm going to use my hands to mix the ingredients until they're combined. Next, grease or line a 20 cm baking cake tin and pour your mixture make sure to shake the pan lightly to remove the air bubbles that might be trapped in the mixture preheat your oven to 180 degrees celsius fan forced for 10 minutes and once it's hot place your baking tin in bake for around 20 to 25 minutes until the top is light golden brown After 20 to 25 minutes, let's take it out of the oven and allow it to cool for a few minutes. Wow, it smells so fantastic! To remove the quiche, place a large plate or a chopping board on top of the baking tin. In one quick motion, turn it upside down and slowly remove the tin. It should slide out easily. To serve, slice a generous piece. Now I'm going to garnish my fresh baked salmon and lobster quiche with some fresh dill, some curly parsley and some kavi on top just to give the dish a salty and briny hit. So there we have it, salmon lobster quiche with dill and caviar. To finish it off, I'm going to crack some pepper on top and make it look fancier. Hope you guys like the video, enjoy!